Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a fabulous day. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with your personal situation. But if it does, take what resonates. And if it does not, we'll leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, so before I even start pulling the cards, definitely picking up on a lot of energy in the collective at this time. Definitely feeling um, when I'm actually started to pull out in this uh the starting energy here it's the four swords in the inverse this is somebody overthinking something so this is if it was in the upright they're kind of taking a respite kind of looking you know uh taking a rest and taking a step back but in the inverse like it came out it's overthinking and it like i said you know again even before i even pulled the cards i'm picking up on this energy very heavily in the collective right now it's like whatever happened happened but somebody's still thinking about it um, but they're thinking about this emotional loss. So this is the Five of Cups and the upright. So you can look at the picture. It looks like somebody's down. They've got those cups representing some emotion. They're down about it. And they're down about some type of offer that they did not get or extend. Um, and I'm going to read these two energies together. Because the Six of Pentacles, this represents some type of equal give and take, represents something being made fair. Um, so I'm going to kind of read these all together. Somebody's overthinking their emotional loss because they either didn't get or receive an offer or something should have been made right. This is how I'm feeling and this is how I felt with the energy before or pulling these cards. Um, this is very, very heavy in the energy right now for the collective. Somebody is really thinking about this or whatever the situation was. Well, the situation had to do with a four of pentacles energy. This is someone who's possessive. They hold on to their finances tightly. They kind of have to, uh, they're very unflinching. They're unwavering who they are. You can see these pentacles are like holding on to them for dear life. They're like, they're going to fly away or something. And this person was dealing with an empress who's not that way. This person is the exact opposite of the miser that's in the four of pentacles. So we can look at how it falls here. So you've got... The four pinnacles falling under the under the overthinker, and then the emotional loss falling under the empress. To be quite frank, um, the way that I'm feeling with the energy in the collective right now, I can read that both of these energies are in this uh, overthinking their their emotional loss because of the situation. But here's what I'm also picking up here. Regardless of that, somebody knows that something should have been made right. Regardless if it's the empress or this miser character. Somebody knows that it's something should have been made fair. Something should have been an equal give and take, but it wasn't. Um, so regardless if it's this four of pentacles person or the empress, it may be one or both of these energies that are feeling it. What I'm picking up on intuitively, this is the energy that I'm feeling in the collective at this moment. Um, the uh, results are the eight of wands and the inverse, which represents somebody being stuck. And that's par for the course of, you know, kind of sitting in this energy right here that I'm feeling uh, intuitively. The Eight of Wands is definitely some being stuck, delays, but the thing about it is that that person can't cause conflict anymore. So this is the Five of Wands in the inverse. So whether it was one person or a group of people, they can't stop you. They can't uh, cause any conflict anymore. So let's say, for instance, if, if this is the uh, Empress who's feeling uh, over this, overthinking this emotional loss because there wasn't something um, that, that was fair for them, they can't stop you anymore. So, and you're the empress, honey. You are the empress. You are, you can rise above any of this. So that's my advice for the empress. But if it's this person here in the four pentacles, you know, there's some delays, but this person, and I'm going to be quite frank here, I don't feel any remorse. If this person is the one who is overthinking this situation because they did not make an offer, they know that they should have been uh, you know, making things right. They know that it should have been an equal give and take, but I don't feel any remorse. It's like they, they acknowledge it, but they don't feel sorry. I don't feel any type of remorse. Or remorse. I feel apathy, to be quite honest with you. So I can see this from both angles. That's why I'm explaining it to you um, from two different perspectives, because I feel it very heavy in the collective at this moment. But the, the they can't cause conflict anymore because this uh, Nine of Pentacles energy, which represents being single, self-sufficient, independent, which goes perfectly with an empress because that's who she is. Um, and also this person, this five, uh, excuse me, the four of Pentacles person, this person um, was actually cannot cause conflict for the single, self-sufficient, independent person in this Nine of Pentacles. Well, the reason why is because the Three of Pentacles and the inverse, because they were in their ego, they were not being a team player. 
which also goes hand in hand for what we see up there. They didn't make an offer. They, it, something wasn't right. It wasn't equal give and take. Something wasn't made fair. So that goes par for the course for that being their ego. But this person wasn't doing it alone. They did it with a queen of pentacles, which is somebody who is greedy, lazy, and likes to show off. They're just kind of all talk, basically. They're full of hot air. But here's the thing. With this particular energy, that person is defeated. You know, they can they can talk all they want to, but all they're blowing is smoke. They're done. They're, it's defeated. They're over. This goes hand in hand with the Five of Wands energy. So they're defeated, so they can't stop you anymore. The outcome is in the clarifier is the world in the upright. So this is really good energy. This is cycles being closed out. This is moving on to new beginnings. Things uh, might actually represent some type of travel, moving away from the situation, moving away from that overthinking over the disappointment, and moving forward with your life. Um, you know, connecting this back to our previous readings that we had the previous day, the collective was very, very heavy in the energy of moving on. Moving on was in every single reading in those uh, readings yesterday. So we're going to continue that. Um, the Empress came out in one of those readings yesterday about moving on. So this Empress is the one who actually got the world and the upright. Um, and it wasn't the negative energies they were dealing with. So again, I can see it from two different perspectives. But the thing about it is, Empress, keep your head up. You're the one that gets the world in the upright. These people can't uh, stop you anymore. They're defeated. They're done. All right. So let's go ahead and get some advice so we can go ahead and uh, round out the reading. All right. Here it looks like the five of water. It looks like. All right. I'm going to read from our dreams of Gaia tarot. All right, some keywords are loss, betrayal, fear, doubt, hopelessness, isolation, self-pity, blame. And some key phrases are feeling alone and isolated, without hope, consumed by fears and doubts, unable to see a way forward, trapped in the moment, feeling angry and betrayed, mourn your loss, playing victim. And again, I really see this for both energies. Um, but if this is the Empress that's, you know, overthinking this situation, this is, you know, a time to kind of get out of your head. You've got the world in the upright. Let's go ahead and get a Oracle card from our Divine Nature Oracle, and we can go ahead and close this out. Card 26, Call and Courage. That's beautiful. We'll go ahead and set this right here. All right, card 26, and we'll go ahead and round this out. Courage comes from the willingness to believe in ourselves and our source more than we believe in our fears. The word courage comes from the root word of heart in French, and you must use this energy center in order to find your way through brambles and thorns of fear. Now is not the time to weigh your options or calculate your odds of success based on the five, sense of re five senses of reality. Instead, go within and listen to the voice telling you that fear is real and that's okay. But courage is just as real, and you can you can grow bigger and stronger than anything you face in your path. I know that's right. It gives me the, the mind of greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. That, <laughs> I'm just pulling from a great old book there. All right, guys. So that's going to go ahead and round out this particular reading. I hope this gives someone, you know, a little bit of a uh, little bit of a heads up as far as the energy that's out there and how to get out of that stuck stagnant energy. All right, so if you are interested in a personal reading, I do offer that in the description box below. So, so see there for that information. Uh, but don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe on our related videos. Other than that, I hope everyone has a great day. Bye-bye.